Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say a few things. Firstly, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently. I've been very busy with other things. I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos and I didn't have a chance to do another, but here it is. Because of this, I'm hosting a Robux giveaway. To enter, you need to join the James Hacks group so I can send you the funds. The link is in the description. There'll be two winners who will receive 300 Robux each. So enter now. Thank you, and let's go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated player model with an overhead GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a player model with a GUI above its head, which can say any text you want and a little animation to go along with it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to here where you'll be on either home or model and you want to go to plugins all the way on the right and you want to install load character by already pro which will be in the link in the description it is paid however there is a free version however the free version hasn't worked for me so far so i really do recommend the paid one it's only a couple of robux like 50 or something so i recommend that so you want to click it and then this little gui here will pop up and you want to type in the name of the character that you want to um, you want to do. So my name is JJ underscore Dev One, and it should have a picture appear. It doesn't always um, appear as the right picture, but it trust me, it is the um, the character you entered. Then you want to click either Spawn R6 or R15. If you want to be able to do the animation, you're gonna want to spawn R15. And that should create a model in the workspace. It might take a few seconds. Like that. There we go. Oh, the um the picture's going a bit weird. Anyway, so it should spawn your character like this. Then you can just hit the X on that. And you've got your character. So I've got the sparkle effect. That's actually from my little necklace here. So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't really want it. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the necklace now. Handle, sparkles, delete. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, there's this little name tag above here. We don't want that because we're going to replace it with a proper name tag. Let's go to name and then just delete it like that. And that will remove the name from the top. Then we can go to the head. And here, you want to click the plus button and you want to insert a billboard GUI like that. And then inside here, you want to insert a text label. So this will put one of these little text label GUIs in your um, character. But as you can see, it's inside the head right now. We want it to be just above the head. So we want to change the light influence to zero. So it's completely white. Max distance. Just change all these properties, mess around with them until you get what looks good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so once you've changed the size and stuff, I didn't actually change mine because it looks good how it is. You want to go to studs offset, change the middle one to 2.5. And that will put it just above your head like this. You can make it a bit bigger if you want. Actually, I might make that one because my GUI is quite small. Nope, okay. Two. Yeah, two looks good. So you can change that to whatever you want. Make sure you change the middle number, which will change the y-axis, which is up and down. So once you've got it, you've got that, you want to change the z-index behavior to global. And that will basically just change the um, kind of how they see it, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. But anyway, go to text table. And what you want to do here is make this 1, 0, 1, 0. And that will make it whatever size that the billboard GUI is. But um, I already had mine as the same size as the billboard GUI. I didn't need to change that. But if you did change the billboard GUI size, then you're going to need to change the text label. And then you can have some fun and start messing around with the colors. Make it a nice bright color. Do whatever you want to it. So I'm going to do that quickly now. And then you can also change the text to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to my name and then scale it up. Maybe change the font. Cartoon looks nice. Change the color. Let's make it white with a text streak. 
Okay, so mine doesn't actually look the best right now, but um, if we test it out, it should look okay. Okay, so apparently my game didn't load. My internet has been pretty bad recently. It's pretty bad for everyone at the moment, but um, mine is particularly awful. So, um, yeah, that's why this video will probably be quite late uploading. It's just my internet. Anyway, so that will work. Just trust me on that one. You can change it around, and if you want, you can make the transparency 1 for everything and just have the text like that. But I like a little background. I think it looks good. So once you've got that, you can come over to your model again, and you want to insert a script. This is going to be our animation script. So um, this is what what makes the um the model do the cool little animation on repeat. So no one really watches the parts where I type out the script. So this time I'm actually gonna just paste the script because I don't want this video to be too long and um, it's a bit boring for you guys when I explain the script and stuff so I'm just gonna paste it in you can paste it from the description all my scripts are in the description if you want to paste them in so you can copy it with Control Z or right click and copy once you've selected it then in here you can do Control V or right click and paste and it will come in here so this is your entire script however you are going to want to change a few um parts so you want to change the animation id to um any of your choice this is what comes after this link so when you're on the animation on the roblox page you'll have this link at the top and then equals and then a number like this number here change this number to whatever you want and then also change this weight. This is the amount of seconds that the animation lasts. So my animation currently only lasts two seconds, so I'm gonna keep it at two. However, if you had, for example, this animation that I just copied, 48414, which is a nice little one, you'll wanna change that to like three, depending on how long it takes to actually do the animation. I'm going to test it out and see if it actually will load the test because my, as I said, my internet's being really slow. So let's test it out. Okay, so as you can see, it is working. There's the GUI and the person is doing the animation. He is, um, he is anchored. If you, if your character is moving around, like you can push him, then you want to select humanoid root part and you want to make sure it's anchored here at the top and then it shouldn't move at all. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm really sorry I haven't uploaded recently. I've been super busy and I put a lot of effort into these videos and I haven't really had much time to do one. But um, here it is. There should be more coming soon. Um, maybe in a couple of weeks now because as I said, I've been really busy and there was a um, something at the start saying it as well. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've now at 173 subscribers, which is insane. I mean, my last video was my 100 subscribers special, and I'm now at 173 and I'm recording my next video. It's it's just it's incredible. Thank you so much. So, um thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.